Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is a ramble. Yeah, we'll go until midnight tonight if we can get that far. Here's Lori. That uh Oh wait a minute, wait a minute. Over Hold there. on a second. Folks. Taking up most of the wait a minute, picture. that's not that's not uh, what I wanted. <laughs> that's not what I wanted, <laughs> folks. That's not what I wanted. Oh, you know something? It always happens to me on uh, on um, Mondays, okay, uh, Tuesdays, or Wednesdays. It always happens after I've been off for a couple of days. I thought I had changed what I was going to have here, and uh, apparently uh, it, was, uh, it was wrong, okay? So I'll just do what I was supposed to do here. Here we go, and I think we're ready to go. All righty, folks, now... Here's Lori. There she is. She's in uh, in, in Florida. I'm in New in York. Ch- Isn't this amazing? It is. It amazes me, especially. I mean, any feat of engineering amazes me. Yeah. Like when we went to uh, Venice, I was thinking they built a whole city on water. I mean, think of the vision and the dedication you had to do that. That that just and the calculations. It might have just been convenience. You might have been. You might have been. There might have been We're some. Here. It was probably a real estate developer looking for some cheap land. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's land. You can't see it. It's covered with water, but we can work around that. Real estate always has a way to work around. But yeah. here, you'd have to buy flood insurance. I think, except in the deepest of winter, when you know New York would be tough. Mm. Uh, here, everybody's got flood insurance. We're trying to find out why our very lovely neighbors, um, why we're paying almost double what they pay for flood insurance. That's a big game really? we play here. Really? Yeah. It's expensive, yeah. And they have a place that's right, their deck just abuts the water. They could fish off their deck. So, uh, and we don't, we don't uh, you know, look down on them for getting a, paying a better insurance rate, but we wanna, we wanna get that well, same rate. Why are rate. they paying a better insurance rate? I have no idea because there. I know some people were grandfathered in. I mean, that's what you hear about in, in Florida. This is one of the hot topics at any coffee shop, mm. insurance, and they're going up. And DeSantis, he's in bed with the insurance companies and all of that stuff. So, yeah, it's a big topic. Is, is DeSantis isn't doing anything about it? Oh, he. They many people have accused him of being in bed with the insurance companies and they stopped short of accusing him of taking a little taking now, a bribe. I, I would imagine because of the hurricanes and everything and the massive destruction especially that hurricanes have these days that this yeah. insurance has gone sky high oh but it's just i mean and people it doubles i mean it's not like little cute little incremental raises that you could kind of laugh off this is i mean people find their insurance doubled and it's just you're right with our hurricanes I mean, I've never wa- looked at the weather with trepidation, but that's changing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just be- yeah. Like, I have a friend who's lived here all her life. Well, you, you're been- aware exactly. Somebody asked me the other day, and I couldn't remember. The Panhandle. The Panhandle. That's North- what I said up there, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, And they, uh, we have a trade-off. Uh, they get more hurricanes, it seems to me, I've been here two years, uh, down south. Well, that's because than- it's Miami, and they're horrible. Yes, yeah. I know. You have a mm, yeah. moratorium on Miami. Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Miami. But everybody else, Miami. Jeff Bezos, though, he sold his Seattle mega mansion, and now he's going to be a Florida Miami guy with Tom Brady and a bunch of others who, Tiger Woods, they're going to start their little rich people enclave. Eh, I hate them. So, yeah, we, we get it. You've got money. Right. You know. Well, that's because, you know, this, uh, this, society we have this culture this government has become a plutocracy rather than a democracy because what got elected what got trump elected celebrity and wealth america loves their wealth and celebrity and he had both going for him albeit not with great art 
on the on the celebrity side. I mean, he was just you know he had The Apprentice, and that made him familiar. Yeah. And then shows of wealth. I'm having such a wonderful time watching what's going on in that courtroom or hearing what's oh. going on in that courtroom because, uh, as I said, the judge in that case is the judge who handled our case on the rental oh, It's six thing. degrees of, you know, Alex Bennett. Well, I, I kind of know the guy. I mean, not yeah. intimately, but I know him, you know. You know You're yeah. linked. He would probably remember me if I walked in the door, you know. Yes. So anyway, he he has had this situation going on. I mean, how lucky was he to draw the straw? Oh, I know, man. It's either going to make him, uh, you know, a huge celebrity or make him just vilified. Because we're in the middle of a lot of Trump lovers. Mag is still yeah, very but this big. is not going to. He's not going to be vilified in New York. They they're going to no. love him in New York. They love what they, he's they love doing him here. Trump. And what has he done? I don't know. But, you know, I'm not a real politicized person. To me, it's just Well, local. you just got this, you got this judge who got the, the thing, and he is, uh, I know him, and I know him to be a no-nonsense judge. You yeah, know. that's what we need. He, yeah. he, you know, and he, so he proclaimed that they were guilty before the trial even started because he had the right to be able to do a summary judgment. Ah, because it's a it's a judge only trial. In other words, the judge is going to make the decision. Mm -hmm. And of yeah. course, the uh, the Trump people are yelling, "Well, why don't we get a, a a jury just like anybody else?" Well, the reason was you could have, but you didn't ask for it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the time passed when you could ask for it. So now you, you got to live with what you got. Yeah. So they. Uh and I learned everything I know about the law from suits. You know, they've got tertiary torts and, you know, they go into them. Yeah, yeah sure. We learn everything from suits and Meghan Markle. <laughs> yeah. What happened to her and Harry other than feeding off their own publicity? I mean, that's that's what they were addicted to. That was their addiction and down. I don't know I if they had an addiction. I think they realized that he never he didn't have a salary any longer. Yeah, man. Yeah, because that... And uh, so they had to come up with a way to make a living. Yeah. You know, and... Which would... Yeah. Press into some compromising decisions. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't know. She's... Because I... Before I ever watched that show... I mean, show, you do you like her? Uh, no. No, I think that she's one of those people who's not handling fame well, and that she may turn out to be a person who mellows well with age. But right now, I think celebrity is overwhelming. You know, people asking your opinion, people kissing well, their it, ass. It, 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 I'll tell you why it's overwhelming. Harry has always had notoriety. Right. Mm -hmm. She was an actress looking for notoriety. Yes, that's you put your finger on it. Because yeah. I thought something is just wrong here. They are gravitating, gravitating toward the, the wrong things if they want to win the public and society. You know, I mean... The, this down home guys. Well, is she, is, they, they 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 always make somebody the evil character in the scenario, and they make yeah. her the evil character in the scenario. Oh, look, he took he took Harry away from his family. No, that family is just screwed. You know. Oh and, yeah. Well, every family is dysfunctional in their own did, charming way. Did but. you see the see the latest video? Of the the King of England has yet to give a public speech in something like 40 years, 50 years, uh -huh. right? So uh, he decides to, and he gives him a speech, wearing his crown, wearing the cape, and talking about how we should help the poor. Yeah, just your average I mean, Joe. I, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just absurd. I mean, that family, yeah. I swear the inbreeding really got to them. You know, I think you know. I think that that does play into it. I really do, um, because you you figure that you know that genetic assault over the years has got to play out. And and, I, and the other, I've never understood yeah, that. The, the other prince, uh, Prince Numnuts, what's his name? I don't know. Oh, William. William. Uh, he's getting to be pretty bad himself. He just looks wooden to me. Yeah. Just well, it absolutely. looks like. What you see, what happens is you got the heir and the spare. 
Yeah. And 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 the the heir knows what he's going to become. Yeah, so he's groomed from So infancy. see, he's groomed. The other one isn't really groomed. You know, he's the one no. that goes out and gets drunk at parties, you know. Right, the class clown, you know. Yeah, and why shouldn't he? He he has no obligation. Right. Unless, unless, unless like unless, you know, unless Prince William dies, in which case he, you know, He's number, new, well, actually, he's not number one. I think number one would be the son of, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, William? of Harry, of William. Yeah, of William. Yeah. yeah. It's just hard to keep track of it. My sister knows the monarchy and the tears of it, you know. Yeah, because I, do, I think, I, I think pretty- Harry's down around number five now. <laughs> it's like when Alexander Haig declared he was in charge when Reagan got shot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I'm in charge, right? Yeah. yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> Take that back because the, the, media is the, going to the vice that. president is in charge, and after the vice president, it's the secretary of state. It's the, mm-hmm. the not the secretary of state. The, uh, the uh, 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 what do you call it? The speaker of the house. Well, the, the um, yeah, I haven't uh, rehearsed or, or gone over my monarchy rules and and our government rules as far as succession goes but i believe it's yeah as you said as you stated and the the prince the spare he's never known you know what his duties are or what his destiny is whereas the heir has a very clear cut idea yeah so you kind of, i mean with a clear cut set of expectations well i would imagine from the time they were both born they were raised differently Oh, yeah. I mean, and the boarding school thing. I mean, even a lot of Americans send their kids to boarding school. But I read a book about that, the Kennedys, when I was like 11. And I thought that would be horrible. It'd be like sent to prison. But people that whose legacy is boarding school swear by it. And they. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think, do you think that Harry uh, is the son of the. the King of England. What's his name? I, I, um, I keep forgetting their names because I don't care. Charles the King. Charles the King, yeah. Care. Do you think that that kid is Charles's kid? You mean um, Harry? Yeah. I, I don't know because Diana was kind of doing her own thing by then. And I've never analyzed All Christian I'm Kent. saying is he's a ginger and there's nobody <laughs> in that family who's a ginger. Right, and if you look at who she was fraternizing with, uh, being intimate with, there were the a couple of people who could be his father. Yeah, so um, you know, I guess, but wouldn't they have had DNA tests by now, though? They may, they may have done it. They may know, and that's why they're treating him like crap. Oh, I didn't even think of that. But and plus, oh, they, wow. plus, they could get his DNA without him even knowing. You know, they can exactly. go get it off a glass he just drank off of or something. Yeah, the yeah. old can of Coke in the wastebasket trick we learned from Law and Order. Yeah, and that's- <laughs> yeah but no, I mean, but I, I think there's a good chance of that, you know? Yeah, and, and just keep it on the, you know, keep it on the QT. Everybody who's an insider who needs to know, Plus, he knows. seems... He seems a little less retarded than the rest of the family. <laughs> well, and not quite as stoic. He's got a pretty good sense of humor when left to his own devices. Mm-hmm. But the whole, when he joined up with Meghan Markle, her, her. I uh, just love the fact she isn't a hundred percent black, but I, I do. I just love the fact that he married a black woman. Uh, yeah, yeah, a woman that, of color. Uh, well, I mean, because they consider her black, whether she's only half black or whatever, right? Yeah. But the, the mother came, and she's really black. And yeah, and I thought that was bold of Harry, and I was kind of proud they, of they her. Make, then they make her sit in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Tech, you know, euphemistically, yes, she was kind of at the back of the royal bus. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, um, I, I think they have a... You know, it's it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting question about whether, you know, Harry is yeah, because monarchies just don't make sense to me anyway. You know, because one person was qualified, their offspring is going to be qualified. Um, ho- hopefully, that's not how it works. Um, hopefully, a person is nurtured as well as nature. Right. And and yet they've gone with that. It was kind of the 
was there some other like geography or some other explanation of why monarchies were so prevalent in Europe? Just because well, they, were, the, they, they were they were monarchies were prevalent elsewhere too. I mean Russia. Yeah. You know, in Russia. And uh, you go to China, you had emperors. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. they were monarchies. And almost every country had a monarchy in the beginning, except maybe the yeah. United States. Yeah, that was uh, the model, I guess. Well, because the United States wasn't settled that much. So yeah, it, it yeah. eschewed the, um, uh, the nature of a, of a king or whatever. You know. Yeah, and plus it was like this new wilderness that they were settling, so they just threw the models out and said, yeah. let's start from scratch and try to do better. And <laughs> nice idea. Yeah, but anyway, so, you know, you had, and then uh, you had, uh, let's see, the French had their, uh, their, their. Yeah, and, so. and the movie, there's a movie, speaking of all things French, uh, Napoleon with Joaquin Phoenix comes out November 22nd. Mm-hmm. To be interesting, and are are you as much? I was going to ask you: Are you as a big cinema fan as you used to be? Because you like the whole experience of going to the movies. You know that yes. you got your red. Yes, but I don't care anymore. You don't. <laughs> I, I just don't care anymore. I mean, yeah. What go and have the chance of getting COVID? Come on, you know. Yeah. And if I don't and have COVID, there's a crying baby in the seat in front of me. You know. Yeah, it just seems like it's all teenagers when I go. So obviously. The movies are going to cater to the teenagers. Movies this but. year have made less money than they've ever made. They made an well, amazingly it's, small amount of money this year. Yeah, with streaming, because I think the quality of the movies, except for those big, huge budget ones, which play better, they're more of a spectacle. Well, there's a question movie. as to whether they play better. I mean, if you've got a 75-inch screen and you've got a good stereo system, it, it, it's the same feeling as sitting in a movie theater. Yeah, no need to leave the house. Well, no need to leave the house and no need to have to. Like, for instance, I, I used to do this little math for my audience uh -huh. about going to the movies. And when we go to the movies, we go to this one theater, usually down around 86th Street. So how do we get there? We take a, a lift, okay? Uh-huh. So that's going to cost us about 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Round trip, that's going to cost us 40 bucks. That's just for starters. Then yeah. we go into the movie, and the movie now is, I think, is somewhere like I can't remember what the how much they are. They're like about eighteen dollars or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So it's, a, double eighteen for the two of us. Yeah. Right. And you, that's mm -hmm. that's thirty six added to the forty, and then you, you get some of the snacks and stuff like that. That's another twenty. Yeah. Look how much money you've spent, and then you go in, and the movie sucks. Yeah, that see, that's the iffy thing. Because if you're going out on the town, you mm -hmm. choose the place. You know, you choose the beverages that you want. If you're going to go bottle service, yeah. it's going to cost you. But that you can you can make your good time. You know, even even if the place sucks, you can joke with your friends about how much the place sucks. And you have some control over it where the movie is going to be the same today as it's going to be in 10 years or when it comes to your home via streaming. Yeah. So, so I mean, it, it really, they give you no reason to go to. Oh, and then I went to the movie theater a couple of weeks ago. We went. Uh, I'm telling you, it's not a very good uh, experience. It's a terrible yeah. experience. Just a terrible Do was it mechanics? Was it sound or, or picture quality? Or it was just... It was... The theater was shabby. See, because you right would you would have thought that during COVID they would have gone, well, you know, we can, re, you know, redo this place and uh, make refresh it and put in new seats and stuff like that. Instead, there, it was shabby. It was just shabby. Yeah. Well, and they used to... If they'd taken some of those classic, like a Lowe's in Atlanta, it was a great movie theater. Mm -hmm. And if they'd taken some of those classic theaters and maintained the experience, you know, that I think would have kept that whole, it would have developed a niche. And then that would have taken off and done well. And But they tried that in San Francisco. Remember the Alhambra Theater? Mm -hmm. Which had been a cool mo movie, kind of small, but a movie palace in its day. Yeah. And then when Rock Rabbit came out, they spent all that money to renovate it and bring it back to the standards, the original standards. But now... It's a fitness center. Yes, it's I was going to say that. It's a fitness <laughs> yeah. center. 
Yeah. It just seems like, oh, man, I tear up every I time I I don't think I they could change much of anything inside the theater, even though, it, even though they had treadmills in there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because, just, because it was landmarked or something like that. Yeah, one would think. But, you know, they're like we were talking about the crafty nature of real estate. People can get around anything. Like in Jackson, Mississippi, the zoning laws were so uh, non-existent, there would be people with an entire subdivision in their backyard that they just built with no code. You couldn't see it like when I say subdivision, I'm joking, but three or four houses that they built for their offspring and they'd be behind the house so you couldn't see it. But all the electrical done by, you know, Bob who lived there and it was it was wild. Yeah, zoning is something that can be really flirted with or ignored all the Well, I don't understand that because I never owned a home. Yeah. In fact, I mean, you never you never owned a home, right? Until now. Yeah, I had one in San Mateo. Oh, really? I wish I didn't want to. Man, cuz it it's it's worth a lot of money now because of Silicon Valley and the city. It pulled from both. It wasn't a from the city. It was only like 8 miles south and maybe 10 and then, of course, from Silicon Valley, now it's a great, and it was at the time, kind of like a really cool small town where you'd have, it, there were some good restaurants well, but and the see, Capellinis. You see, I didn't, I, I never uh, bought a home because in our business, you never knew how long you were going to be in one place at, the, at, at one time. <laughs> it's so true. And I hesitated, you know, but I thought, well, <laughs> you know, I can do this and I'll probably be able to sell it in California in the Bay Area for at least as much as I paid for it uh -huh. you know and that was the case but you know if I just hung on a little longer yeah well I mean I I didn't buy a house and, yeah and if I had done it when I first went to San Francisco I probably would have had it paid off by the time I left San Francisco oh yeah you yeah so so it bothered me that I didn't do that you know it did well, Still? it bothered me because, you know, I could have had made some money off of it, you know? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And there yeah. was a point at the end where I actually needed money, and that would have been the the money, you know? Yeah. I, yeah. So, the piggy bank. Yeah. 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 I, I know a lot of people uh, borrowed against equity right before the, the crash in 2008 mm -hmm. and got into big trouble then. You know, really? You could borrow. Yeah, you could borrow in your equity to put up a deck. I think I mentioned this the other day to somebody else uh, when I was doing a show. That my my mother had a home in Marin County uh, that she bought. She and my father bought for nine thousand dollars, and they <laughs> and they were paying thirty five dollars a month on the loan. Okay, yeah. so now the uh, worth of the house goes up to. Something like twenty nine thousand. They're in the money. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a little bit. So my mother says to me, "Well, I'm going to sell it." I'm going. What are you selling it for? She said, "Because I can get twenty nine thousand dollars for it." I went, "Mom, don't sell it. I'll make payments. So I'll make the payments." On yeah. It. And I wasn't. Yeah, I didn't have a yeah. lot of money at the time, but the payments were so small that I could yeah. afford it. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, she got rid of it because my uncle Lou. Everybody in their family has an Uncle Lou. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Lou told her it's time to sell. You know, it's at the high part of. Well, she sold it, and three years later, the house was worth three hundred thousand dollars. I know it just kills you. That's like when and I I I wanted to kill my mother. I didn't have to though. She died on her own. So you know, see, I mean, there she did you a solid. She did and me a solid. I feel that way about AMD and uh, Netflix stock. So we've all got them in our in our lives, you know things that we. Oh, wish I we wish did. you know what I wish I did. I w do we have enough time for me to say what I wish I did? Yeah, I've got a couple of minutes here. Uh, <laughs> Your hopes. No, I uh, when I was at Sirius XM, they went through a really bad time, and the stock went down to <laughs> what was it? Fifty? If, no, five cents. The stock went Man. down to five cents. <laughs> and there was a weekend there where they didn't know whether the company was going to survive and not survive. Yeah. And if I had bought, say, $10,000, which I had, $10,000 worth of serious stock at $5 a share, do you know how much I'd be worth today? And they're not doing that well. They're only up around $4 a share. 
But how but many? Still, how many yeah. times? You know, for every for every uh, um, uh, what uh, ten hundred dollars? Uh, every hundred? Yeah, it'd be like five five cents. Five cents. Man, yeah. I mean, the stock market. I didn't buy. Husband. I didn't buy, mm-hmm. and I should have. Yeah. Well, yeah, and because the Wall Street is riddled with regrets. And I, they, yeah, and I think I would have several million now. That wouldn't be nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could buy a cruise line and just set it up and just and by have that, your friends. By that Monday, things looked better, so the stock went up to 10 cents. That's when I Whoa. should have bought it. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I mentioned it to my business manager. He said, well, they're not doing that well lately. I wouldn't take a chance on it. And I went, mm-hmm. oh, what the hell? Yeah. You know, nobody oh, lives yeah. forever. Well, anyway, that's, we all have stories like that where we could have, should have, would have been a millionaire. And It could be worse. You could be Elon Musk, buy Twitter for $44 million but, and then uh, watch should, it go now. We, it was should, a billion. we should start a new TV show called Who Could Have Been a Millionaire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hey, we've run out of time, dear. Oh, well, shall we? shall we say goodbye? Yeah, let's do it again. Perfect. Let's do it again next week. Okay. Okay. I bet you're yeah. going to be wearing the same outfit too. I will because so I'm really fun. Yeah. When you buy something new and it's all you wear for like the first week, yeah. I'm still in that yeah. phase. Ladies and gentlemen, so, that there is Lori Thompson. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, honey. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, yes, thank you very much. You know, that's uh, that's uh, Lori, and we enjoy Lori, don't we? What is this? I mean, there's something strange happening here. Watch this. Wait a minute. Did you see that? Watch. If I go all the way over here, I disappear, I think. Oh, no, I only disappear on Zoom. Oh, it only happens on Zoom. Oh, let me show you this then. Let me go over. Let me show you the Zoom panel, and then I go here. Right? And then I go, look at that. Wait look at that. Boom, I disappear. What is that? They've got a lousy uh, uh, version of, uh, of uh, green screen. But anyway, so let me see here. What do I want to do? Uh, let's see. All we have is Charlie. I'm getting tired of this. I'm really getting tired of this. I'm tired tonight. I feel tired. I've felt tired for a couple of days. Marjorie and I both have some kind of little, uh, you know, little agita or something, some kind of cold or whatever. And uh, so we've both been feeling a little, little off, uh, off, off our, off our self. I don't know what's called, but uh, you know. So. Um, uh, we, uh, you know, I, I almost didn't do a show tonight. I almost said, eh, what the hell do I need to do a show for? You know, cause what happens is, is uh, Albert comes in and he, he is always this way with me. He goes, uh, okay, all right, okay. Um, you, what, what are you doing a show for tonight? I said, well, because I feel I have to do a show. And he says, you don't have to do a show. You know, you don't have to do a show at all. And he said, why don't you just not do a show? And I went, because these people depend upon me. Okay, you know, it's the old show business axiom, the show must go on, right? So, anyway, but there are some people here waiting for me, so let's get going to them, okay? Here, 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 I go, admit all. There they go. Okay, and they're admitted, and then I put on the Zoom panel here. Oh, there they go. Okay, there they are. There's uh, also Jeff's top of Jeff's head. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we loved the top of Jeff's head. Jeff? Oh, he hasn't, uh, he's connecting his audio. Now he's connected his audio. Jeff? Joe Roy was here. Let's see all of your head. What, what are you doing a show for? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no. You know, you don't have to do a show. Oh no. And he's in there. Pam? Because Quick, get he's depend upon me, okay? You know, it's the old show business axiom: the show must go on. Right? Oh, anyway, got that part right. But there are some people here waiting for me, so let's get going to them, okay? Here, here, here! I go. Admit all. There they go. 
Okay, and they're admitted, and then I'm just, I'm just gonna the, wait. Where, oh, there they go. Okay, there they are. There's uh, also Jeff's top of Jeff's head. Really? Uh, How about you know, we love the top? Of <laughs> you still have your YouTube up, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, He's mm, that is my head. He's connected his Jeff, audio. get rid of your get rid of your the audio. We're getting our audio back at us. I'm trying. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! God, welcome to the Deja Vu show. <laughs> I think you got it. I got, got it. it. Okay. Right. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Well, they didn't help. I mean, they just... just yeah. Well, they motivated. <laughs> mm. God, there my, is my head at the connected to my shirt? Oh, yeah, on? no, you're yeah, fine. Yeah. No, your head's fine. Oh, good. Your head is fine. I mean, that's... Mine disappears. Most... Watch this. Look at this. I don't know why that... <laughs> I, I like know. that view. That's a nice Oh, one. nice. I don't know why that happens. But what the hell? Oh, mysteries. You know, it's one. If it isn't one thing, it's another. Okay, that's it. That's yeah, probably your. Time. I gotta disagree with you on one thing. You gotta. I what? love Meghan Markle. What did you say about Meghan Markle? Oh, we were talking about. I Meghan. love Meghan Markle. You said you didn't like her. No, I didn't say I didn't like her. No, no. Who said? Who, I, how did I say I didn't like her? When you were talking, and you're talking to Lori. No, I, I never. I never said anything about Meghan Markle. I talked uh, about how I liked Harry, you know, and and uh, I, I I've always thought she's okay. I've always been on her side, yeah. Uh, as yeah. I said, because she made the royal family feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, if you can make the royal family feel uncomfortable, you're okay in my <laughs> in my book. So anyway, so you know, we only have like four people here now. What do I yeah. do this thing for? What, what am I doing it for? I have no idea. Well, for the four of us tonight. Well, for the four of you, I mean, I like you. You know, you're nice guys. You're all intelligent. You know. Oh, I watched this thing tonight, uh, Charlie, and they it was the documentary where they said that there had been four mass distinction events prior to the comet to hitting the, the Earth. Yeah, to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Yeah. And they went through all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of them was uh, volcanoes and the earth heating up and, you know, all the all, everything disappearing. Yeah, that was a big one. Killed almost 90 percent of the population of life. Well, earth. life at that point were like insects and animals and so on. Well, they had some uh, pre-dinosaurs, post Yeah, there that. was there were some animals that were pre-dinosaurs. Yeah. yeah. And they got it, too. Uh, yep. When did man show up, though? You know, everybody thinks that man showed up when the dinosaurs showed up, and that's oh. not true. That's just movies, <laughs> okay? Yep. Somehow, in like uh, you know, ten thousand years BC or whatever, ten thousand that wasn't that far back. Yeah, they had people interacting and fighting with the dinosaurs or against dinosaurs, mm -hmm. and they never dinosaurs and and man were never. In the same, not even primates. They were not. Yeah, but was, dinosaurs and primates were never on Earth together. No, no. Uh, and when that happened, uh, it was. Uh, it, in fact, what's interesting is everybody goes. So oh, you know the uh, Neanderthal. Ah, yes. You know there was the Neanderthal, and then there was man. And I'm going. Do you know that the Neanderthals were around when when man was around? Yep. You know. Um, In fact, most of us have two or three percent of our DNA is Na Neanderthal DNA. Oh, really? Yeah. Really, I'm glad to know that. Is that yep. why I have? A, uh, yeah, prefrontal lobe. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I know I I really uh, you know I enjoy that kind of stuff. I enjoy that kind of too. knowledge. You know. You know and, if, hmm? if we're from apes, how come they're still apes? <laughs> <laughs> God bless America. Well, we aren't descended from apes. <clears throat> we are, what, what's the term they use? Uh, we have a common ancestor. Yeah, we have a common ancestor. There you go. But, and we, I got a yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and, but if we're not uh, descended from apes, then how do you account for Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. Come on. 
He does look like an orangutan. <laughs> he does. He does. Wait, don't say like, that. He, with the he, orange who, hair and everything. Who, who did he sue? Bill Maher. He sued Bill they Maher. They sued him. That. Yeah. He sued him. Because he said he reminded him of an orangutan. He said his mother was had sex with an orangutan. Yeah. That was what, what he didn't like, you know. So, anyway. Too bad He's, they he, didn't sterilize uh, <laughs> Donald Trump's parents before they had him. I don't know yeah. if you guys forgot who is leaving the uh, United States. That's because the Pompadons or whatever they are. The what? Those Pamadons. Pandas. Oh, the pandas. Yes. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, they're all leaving. The pandas. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the you know the uh, Chinese wanted their pandas back. I guess. Well, what happened yeah. was when we got the pandas like 15, 20 years ago or something. The deal was we could have them for about fifteen years, and then we'd have to give them back. Yeah. So since we haven't been getting along too well with the Chinese, they haven't said, "Is there anything we can do for you to let you keep them?" You know. I mean, there's a reason why we should keep them. Aren't one of those pandas, or at least a couple of them, weren't they born here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them were, yeah. You know, so... So those are ours. No. <laughs> They're not uh, Chinese. They're actually American. They're actually, <laughs> That's right, the American citizen. They were born. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and I'll tell you, a lot of kids were crying today at the National Zoo. Yeah. But I'll tell you why wow. I'm glad the pandas are going, Okay. Because I had a thing years ago where I was in Washington, D.C., and everybody said, let's go to the, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the zoo, the National Zoo. So we go to the National Zoo, and we go to the pandas, and there are tons of people lined up to see the pandas, right? Yeah. So I don't even think we got in to see them. That's how many people were there to see the pandas. So we decided, well, second best, let's go see Smokey Bear. Now, Smokey Bear lived at the National Zoo. And you're going, well, what, you, isn't that a cartoon or whatever? No, yeah. Smokey Bear was a bear they found after a fire, who had a cub who had survived the fire. And they named him Smokey Bear. And then they decided to make him the... Uh, mascot for the National Forestry Service. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And learn uh, something new every time I come yeah, on. Yeah, I've never heard that, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm 73 years old. No, I've I never mean, heard I, that I'm not a real I'm not, bear. I'm not telling you a lie. Okay. No, I, I believe you. I would, I just when I lie you. about this, you yeah. know. So we went and I said, let's go see Smokey Bear. So we went to see Smokey Bear. Now, Smokey Bear by this time was Smokey Toothless Bear. I mean, he was, he was old. He was getting old. And there was nobody there. Uh -huh. And I went, this is terrible. The fucking commie bears, <laughs> you know, are making Smokey feel like crap. You know, I mean, he's probably sitting there going, where is everybody? Where, what, they're with the commie panda bears? You know, so. Uh, they were so popular, you couldn't get in to see them. It took forever, you know. Huh. And, uh, and uh, so I didn't see them, but I saw, I saw Smokey. And I said, Smokey, don't worry. We, we're rooting for you, pal, you know. <laughs> but he didn't seem to care. I think by that time it was hard of hearing, too. Yeah. So, huh? you know. Yeah. yeah. So, huh. anyway. So, that, yeah, but that's the big... I like Trump and the orangutan thing, because some orangutans have orange hair. <laughs> yeah. It's a it's appropriate. Well, that, that was the joke. Yeah, it was I, the joke. I got it. it. I got it. <laughs> I just never, never thought about it. It was just, it was a, a good joke. Yeah. Well, mm. you know. And uh, today his uh, daughter uh, testified. Um, yeah. She was a little nicer than the others, but not much more, uh, oh, okay. you know, forthcoming with uh, stuff, you know, so... You know, I got to tell you, I've always heard the statement that, you know, your lawyer is a fool to put you on the stand. Yeah. And, I mean, Trump doesn't stand a lot of chance in this thing. But what does he do? He attacks the judge and everything? Are you kidding me? Well, he, to begin with, I'm sure his lawyers said do not testify because they Absolutely. know what he does. 
And they probably said, do not testify. And I bet he said, no, I want to. Right. You know, and, you know, these guys figure out whatever Trump wants, we'll give him. He's a bully. You know, he bullies himself. Uh, You know, so he he didn't uh, didn't do that well uh, on Monday. Obviously. You know, uh, I mean, when you've got a judge telling telling your lawyers, Try to rein this guy in, would you please? You know, you know, you got a problem, problem. especially when that judge is going to be the guy who's going to decide who wins and who loses in this case. Sole decision. Yeah, you know, he's not going to say, you know, oh, gee, you know, that Trump was such a nice guy. I don't think I'm going to charge him two hundred and fifty thousand (laughs) dollars here. We'll just charge him a couple of hundred thousand dollars, and that'll be it. You know, Uh, oh no, it's two hundred fifty million. That's what. Oh God. You know, but he's an idiot. He's a moron. And he thinks it's going to be good for him because it's going to make, you know, it's going to make him look good with his people. Well, not being a billionaire any longer isn't going to make you look that much like a, you know, like an interesting guy anymore. You know, so. But it's, uh, did you hear, though, the big story tonight? The big story. Really bad television and really bad movies are coming back. The strike at long last is over. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hadn't heard that. It's yeah. in the news yeah. tonight. Yeah. Uh, it, now they'll bring back all the crappy shows. And they'll bring back all the crappy movies. We'll get more of those Marvel movies. Oh, I can hardly wait. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, too bad. Too bad. Uh, but uh, they solved the strike. I don't know what the sticking points were. It had something to do with AI. I mean, I'm not that... Are, are you that worried about AI, Charlie? I mean, at this point? I'm kind of worried about it, yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Why? Well, because with AI, they can make anybody say or do anything and look like it's real. Yeah, but that's this is only applying to movies and television. This is not applying to politics and things like that, where AI this could be applied to AI, where, where it would be more dangerous. I mean, oh, okay. you well, know, I mean, what? that's my worry. But you know, I understand their worry because they were going to use AI to to use instead of the actors themselves, and they weren't going to pay the actors. No, I mean, do you, don't you think maybe a, an AI Sylvester Stallone might be an improvement? <laughs> yep. You know. Yeah, that that's true. <laughs> but the big sticking point was AI. That's what what's preventing you from getting all that quality television that you've been missing. <laughs> you know, S- somehow these guys seem to have gotten through it. Did you did you see what CBS is doing? First of all, they have a new show to put on for the fall season. Let's run Yellowstone, which we own. That's yeah. on the on uh, on the uh, what's that network? What's the other network? Uh, uh, Paramount. Paramount. Or, Paramount. Yes. You know. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's let's just put that on. So they put it on, mm-hmm. and it's getting better ratings than anything before it. Okay, yep. it's better than sixty minutes. So, it's on right after sixty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So they decided that's such a good idea. The number one new show out there on CBS is Ghosts, which is a very funny show. I enjoy it. Yeah. I think it's a very enjoyable show. But it's based on an English comedy called yeah. Ghosts. Guess what's going on CBS? <laughs> the British version of Ghosts. Wow. They didn't need these people. You know? Are they getting rid of the, the American oh, version? No, 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 no. This, is, this was to fill the gap. Oh, okay. You know? Because, but I, I bet if it goes on and it's successful, they'll have that one on and they'll have the br- British version on. You know? And then they'll have Ghost Las Vegas, and they'll have Ghost <laughs> Miami, and they'll have ghosts, you know, Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. The ghost of Donald Ghost Trump. Australia. Do you believe that? They're going to have NCIS Australia now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think maybe that has something to do with the strike, too. Because if, this, if the show is shot in Australia... It comes under a different union. Oh. See? So, but the strike's over with now, so we'll get back to the crappy programs, the really bad <laughs> ones, you know. And, and, and we had enough bad ones anyway because they did a lot of, uh, there, there were a lot of, uh, 
what do you call it, reality shows. Yeah. You know, uh, over they were overdoing The Bachelor and The Bachelor in Paradise and, you know, whatever other Bachelors there were. And they got the old Bachelor, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the old guy, yeah. <laughs> mm. Boy, am I thirsty tonight. I don't know why. What did I eat for dinner? Let me think. I can't remember what I ate for dinner. That shows you how old I'm getting. Usually that's the one thing old people remember. Well, I had some tuna tonight. Anyway. Yeah, I had some baby foods, mashed potatoes and carrots. And <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Pureed onions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, but uh, uh, what did I have for dinner tonight? Pureed calves liver. Oh, man. Well, Marjorie made it. Did she make me something tonight? I can't remember what I had for dinner. So, I'm sorry, folks. I'm give up on me, will you? Or shoot me, or something. Yeah. No, we've all had days like that. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I had only had dinner a couple of hours ago, and me it too. was it was. What did I have for dinner? <laughs> Maybe I didn't eat dinner. I don't know. But anyway. We had guests here for the day, just left yesterday. You know, I really enjoyed having Albert here, and I love Albert, and I love Linda, his wife. That he, she's wonderful, too. And I love having them here. But, man, you know, even in a hot place this big, when they're here for seven days, you know, that gets to be a bit much, you know. You can remember the people that were there for seven days, but you can't remember dinner three hours ago. <laughs> That's correct. Happens to me, too, and I'm a little younger yeah. than you. I'm trying to remember, the, what did I have for dinner tonight? <clears throat> I had something for dinner. I can tell you what I had for dinner today. I just can't tell you what oh, I, I did. Oh, I know what we had for dinner. We, we ordered out for Chinese. Oh, yeah. Do you know how much? Yeah. Five, five, five things... Uh, Hundred dollars, eighty bucks, eighty yeah, bucks. Wow. Around here too. <laughs> Why is yeah. it? it Why well, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Five quarts of uh, food cost close to a hundred dollars delivered. And if you think that it's because oh well everything's more expensive for food and so and and the, and the, the things they use to make the dinners okay, okay I'll accept that. But when finally the prices go down, they're not going to lower their prices. No, they never do. You know, no. it's kind of every all these business people have the sell you cocaine model. <laughs> you remember when you used to buy cocaine from a dealer, and about once a year they'd say, "Oh, there's a shortage of pot right now, so we got to raise the price." So they raised the price, and you paid it. And then when all of a sudden there was a lot of pot around. They didn't lower the price. They learned that method from drug dealers. Wow. You know? So, anyway. Oh, look, we're losing Jeff. Okay. Right. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jeff, you're just like my wife when I go in about like 1030 and she says, I'm going to bed early tonight. Well, she went <laughs> to bed early tonight, but the TV set is still on and she's just sitting up asleep. I'm not asleep. Yeah. That's normal. Huh? That's normal. Was, That's normal. That, I do that all the time. And then when I wake her up, she goes, I wasn't asleep. <laughs> yes, yes, you were. Yes, you I were. Have a roommate like that. Huh? When I get in the car, Pam's driving. Yeah. They sit in the car. Mm -hmm. I'm asleep. Really? No matter where we're going. Really? Yeah. So, well, anyway. So we had Trump on the stand on... Uh, on Monday, and uh, you know he he really should have had somebody say to him, you know this judge, really he's uh, he don't take nonsense from anybody, so don't don't start up with him. But what they were trying to do is they were trying to irritate the judge enough that he would suddenly Jeez. go off the rails. Yeah, and this judge just wouldn't do that. He just very calmly said, would you please talk to your client and tell him to stick to answering the questions? What he was doing is he was there for one day, okay? And what he was trying to do was play out the clock mm. by giving long, involved answers about nothing and that revealed nothing. 
And he, he kept saying, well, you have him answer the questions, you know. Boy, I, I'm, I, I don't think this guy's going to make it to election. I really don't. I think so either. Yeah. You know, I just think, it's, and, and quite frankly, I want to go back to a question here, okay, that we've asked several <laughs> times, and each time the answers seem to be different from the different people in the audience that had different opinions before. Do you still hold to the same opinion that uh, that um, Biden is our best chance for a uh, win in the Democratic Party? I never said that. Yeah, I don't. I, you have to define that question. What do you mean? Hold on a second. Yeah, what do you, mean? Do, do you pretty... think he's the only one that can beat Trump? I don't know who Jim is, but let me just put my face on here. Hold on a second. I'll come back. Remember the question because I'll forget it, as you know. Uh, let me see here. Let me put up, bring up Jim here and see who Jim is. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, yeah. uh, hi, Jim. Uh, Jim from Hawaii. Jim from Hawaii. Yeah, well, you know, I, I just don't trust anybody anymore, so. Yeah. Well, Jim, Jim's going to be on here for like five minutes, and then he always bails. So let's answer the question after he leaves. <laughs> hey, we need you. We need your tourists. We need. We're short of tourists here. We need a minimum of eight hundred thousand live bodies on our island oh, every month. Yeah. How big is your plane? In our budget. Yeah. Well, if, well plane? If, if you quit, let's burn, ask the you, question first. Did you make it okay yeah, through all that fire? Yeah, stuff? Well, what I was going to say, yeah. if you quit burning, well, it wasn't. It, it wasn't on my island. It, it okay, was Maui. Good. Uh, well, I was going to say, Maui, is Maui. if you quit burning it down, maybe we'd come. <laughs> that's what we wanted to hear that you were okay and you weren't on that island yeah that's well, good no, he no, was, like he, said, he, we need you guys to visit us and spend 300 bucks a day so we could patch up our, our our pothole roads and run our school system and pay the retirement you know the state of hawaii does not tax government pensions <laughs> there's no state uh, income tax on government well, pensions. the reason there so is you York, guys to come here for NYU. the same reason <laughs> well yeah. the, the reason there isn't is because you live off tourism exactly yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. I imagine that you have not had many tourists this year. That's uh, right. We're slow on recovery. Uh, we're really looking for the ones from Japan and Southeast Asia. And uh, they're the ones, the big spenders. They're the Gucci bag folks. Are you calling Gucci, us Gucci, cheap? Gucci. Are you calling uh -huh. us cheap? Hey, you New Yorkers. <laughs> you, you, you coasties. You coasties. What do you mean coasties? You coasties. Yeah, you're on the East Coast and West Coast. Uh, coasties. Is yeah. that what you call mm -hmm. us now? You used yeah. to call us Howleys. Very Eastern. You used to call us Howleys. Well, hey, I, I don't use that, you know, but that's all right, you know, because I, you know, I'm in California, San Francisco. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Looking good. Looking good. We're all, we're all, hey, we're, we're retired, but not dead. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, so, you know, uh, but anyway, I was, I was talking about Biden. Have you changed your opinion on that at all? I mean, you seem to say he should run and that you didn't think that he was not capable. He was capable of winning and so on and so forth, which I don't think is – he's not our best bet, okay? To yeah. beat Trump? To beat I don't Trump. think he was our best bet in 2020, but he beat Trump then. Yeah, but, you know, lightning doesn't strike twice, and you have a guy now – who's been president, and anybody who's president, nobody likes anymore. <laughs> you know, I mean, and and quite frankly, I have to agree with you. Anybody who says, uh, uh, oh, uh, the, uh, look at the economy. Well, the economy isn't that bad. It's taken an uptick, you know? It's gotten much better. Uh, but it's still, uh, you know, people are going to use that as an argument against them, and they're using this whole age thing, which is, you know is deadly um so i just think that if they if somebody said if we run anybody no matter who who's a democrat who is in his 50s or 60s yep. he'll beat trump hands down no problem well there's that one guy that jumped in i forgot his name again yeah so that's how much he's impressing everybody I he actually guess, is very, i heard him he talk he's in. very good yeah it does from what i heard he didn't sound too bad either but that's the only one that's jumped in so far, and we don't even know yet. It's still too early. Well, for me, because I don't sound too bad. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, I have to learn more about his, what, what his uh, policies are before I decide whether I would vote for him. 
It's way early still. I guess. His policies, yeah. from what he said, when I heard him on, I can't remember what show I saw him on. Oh, he was on a, Bill Maher. He was on Bill Maher. I thought he was pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he was yeah. pretty good. You know. He yeah. seemed reasonable, but he didn't say anything specific. I never so. heard of him, and I can't remember his name now. Not me either. You know. <laughs> so, anyway, it, it, you know, it, 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 it's... Somehow, I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to, Trump can't win. We can't let him win. And yeah. we said that a little while ago. Huh? Well. We said that about eight years ago. Well, maybe it's better if we do let him run and he has so much baggage that he loses. Because, you know, the, the vote that happened last night in the primaries around yeah. the country kind of showed the Republicans aren't doing very well. Because and there were no polls that predicted it. Everybody thought that the Republicans were going to take over the Virginia House and Senate, and they lost both of them. Yeah, and how about Ohio? They yeah. now have it, it, it ingrained in the uh, in the Constitution, Constitution of the state the right to abortion. Yeah, that's. I it. talked to my friend uh, today, and he's a Republican, mm -hmm. and he goes, "Well, the first thing I'm never going to vote for Trump." I don't care what. Yeah. I'm never going to do anything for that guy. But then he says, yeah, but there's a lot of people there. I haven't seen any who's any that good. He says, but you know, I'd even vote for that guy from New Jersey. Chris Christie? Chris yeah. Christie, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I'd even vote for Chris Christie if, it, you know, if I were, you know. I mean, I don't like Chris Christie's politics, but I think I, I think he's okay, you know. He's smart. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's Dean Phillips from Minnesota is the guy. Dean, Dean Phillips. Phillips. Dean name, Phillips. Yeah. yeah. He's served in the United States House of Representatives since 2019. Mm -hmm. He's 54 years old, which Jim, is not a bad age. Jim, have you put any thought to any of this? And what is, what, what's the, the temperature like in your neck of the woods? Well, temperature right now, it's, it's getting a little chilly. It's down about 79 no, right now. No, I, I, pol I, I, I meant politically. Very sticky. I Very meant, sticky. I meant politically. Uh, you know, here in Hawaii, It'd be funny if he said to me that, whatever the family votes for. It'd be funny if he said that's what I meant too. You know, uh, <laughs> what would you say? He's, we we you know we vote for our corrupt politicians. You know, everybody here in, in Hawaii's got their fingers in the pot for something. We all have our fingers in the because you got to be related to have a job here. You got to have contact. Somebody's got to know somebody to get you a license <laughs> to get you a rental. So, because, as you know, Mr. Bennett, as soon as they hear that uh, continental United States accent on the phone, they add 10 percent to the lease price immediately Yeah. because you folks are from the mainland and you could afford it. Oh, true. <laughs> Hate to say it, but that's the truth. We hit you with that 15 percent uh, excise tax on your car rental daily. We hit you with that 9.5 percent uh, rental on top of the hotels. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. that's the stuff that <laughs> makes that the wheels turn here. In Hawaii, the but greasy that, wheels, but, because everyone's got to get a piece of the action here. But that, <clears throat> that's that's what you do in Hawaii. You 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 live. We're on off, the public dole. Well, no, but you also <laughs> live off a of tourist trade. Okay. Yeah, yeah exactly. And so that's you've got to have taxes on car rentals and on hotel everything. rooms and things like that. Sure. They even have uh, taxes on ukuleles, I believe. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's only that four point seven percent tax oh. on, on, on instruments. That's all. <laughs> it's the excise. Well, we tax even food here uh, at uh, at Safeway or Albertson. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we tax food here. It's only four point seven percent. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Well, we and like I said, there's no state income tax on government pensions. People with government pensions. Do we ha do we pay uh, pay taxes on food in New York? I can't remember. Do we, uh, Jeff? I don't remember. Uh, I, I think not, not in California. In I know in California, you know. Not even in Texas. We don't pay taxes on food. Yeah. Well, you pay it. Don't you pay it if you if it's to go or if you eat it there? Kind oh of thing. yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I, had I, had, I had tax tonight on my Chinese food. food. You know. Yeah. I live in Chicago. You pay taxes on the food you buy at Safeway. Yeah. Oh. Right. Not not in Texas. Yeah. I. I, I had Chinese food tonight, and in honor of uh, the current situation, I, I ordered Panda. So <laughs> In New York City, don't you have an income tax in the city mm -hmm. for folks earning money in New York City? 
yeah. Yeah, but it's not very high. It's not. It's panda. it's not very high. Uh, yeah. The, the, that tax. Uh, How about your tax for driving a car? I don't know. I don't have a car, so I couldn't tell you. Right. That's not why the price is not cheap. So down. Well, everything's expensive. I mean, right. nothing you buy doesn't have some costs associated with it. Like, for instance, if I want to buy a car, that's fine. I buy the car. How much is it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, well, then there's tax. And then I've got to pay, uh, you know, for uh, uh, the garage, okay? And I've got to pay for uh, any number sure. of things. Excuse yeah. me, folks, but I my nose is dripping tonight. Hmm. So, you know, it, it's not easy. It's not easy. This is a very expensive town to live in. <laughs> you know, it's gotten to the point where the average person, if they want to live in New York and have a decent, let's say, two-bedroom apartment in this town, have to make about $200,000 a year. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Not cheap. Not cheap. And that's for fun. Hmm? That's for fun. That's right. <laughs> that's right. It's even more in Connecticut. It's even more in Connecticut, is it? Yeah, all the, all the rich folks live in Connecticut, don't they? Mm. Mm. Yeah, some of them. <laughs> Not Greenwich. But Not Greenwich. Okay. Um, but anyway. You go to Bridgeport or something like that, everything's yeah. Not so, rich. Yeah, so it, it, everything's fine in Hawaii, is it? I mean, you haven't, you had those fires, but that was not on your island. Um, yeah, everything's, everything is, is cool. You know, like I said, we're just hoping to get more tourists back in town. And, because when they don't show up, we don't get the tour boats coming in. Uh, we're dead. We're dead. We can't do anything. I mean, none of the restaurants survive. Uh, the the Uber people are, you know, are penniless. Uh, we can't sell that cheap wine from Safeway, all that good stuff. The Walmart, uh, 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 buy, uh, all the tourists buy it. Walmart, you know, Walmart hurts and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. And the other problem, you know, we lost Sears here in Hilo. So to get a, a washing machine or, a, or, or any decent appliance, we're only stuck with Home Depot and Lowe's. Uh, so, and also, as I told you guys before, because of the acid rain and salt air, appliances fail after three years here in the jungle. They don't now, engineer you things to work in the acid rain. <laughs> oh, really? Why yeah, they don't. Uh, all, all the appliances fit because you know your your stoves, your refrigerators. You you make uh, Hawaii. You know, they're, they're, uh, they're in the carports. You, you know, do, they're they're semi outside. You do not. So the acid make, rain, the salt air, just corrosion all over the place. You do and not. And the dead uh, the dead roaches inside the <laughs> motors and circuit boards. They short everything out. You do not make your, uh, Hawaii paradise. sound like a paradise. Yeah, it is, it, it is still a, people live longer here. It's very physical. Right? You, you got to do everything yourself. You need a root canal. You got to fly to Honolulu. We're short of dentists on this island. <laughs> wow, I just really got, that's true. I'm, you you I'm, need chemotherapy. Wow. With I'm just I'm getting an implant. Guys flies I'm, you uh, daily to get blasted into Honolulu, and they fly you back really? because they don't have any chemotherapy on this island. They don't have any chemotherapy on that island? Nothing? Very oh. few clinics. Well, Marjorie, Marjorie said to me is she will move anywhere where there's a decent hospital. So I guess you're, <laughs> I, I guess you're uh, island, you're on Yeah, what? we really don't. Have, we have the Hilo Medical Center, but like I said, it's, it's all staffed by uh, temporary docs that are recent graduates of medical school. So you're good experimentation about them. Well, they're up on yeah. the newest medicine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They have to keep you alive for 48 hours after they throw you out. That's the rule here. <laughs> then you can peel over. Otherwise, you're a frequent flyer, we call them. Mm. Mm. A lot of the homeless guys are frequent flyers. They're in and out all the time. Well, I, I, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I just, uh, uh, she just wants to be near a hospital, you know. Yeah. Because at our, age, at our age, you need it. Yeah. You want it, you know. Yeah. Even Honolulu is kind of shorthanded. Yeah. They've got some uh, nice You might have to have a toe cut off. What? Amputation, you better go to Stanford or UC San Francisco. Well, he lives in Texas. Or well, you've got a good, med you got Baylor, you got a lot of good. Oh, you got schools. lots of good men. That's what I said. That's why I can't live in Hawaii because I never know when I might have to have another toe cut off. Yeah, you oh, got Baylor. You get some so damn yellow. bolt cutters. Bolt cutters, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pick them off now and then you don't have to worry about it later. Is there a possibility yeah, you'll lose? Is there a possibility you'll lose another toe? Yeah, I, they didn't expect me to lose the six I lost. <laughs> really? 
What yeah. happens if you lose all of them? Do you just tip over? <laughs> yep, I tip over now. Really? What do you do? Do you have something you put in your shoe that's like a block? That... I used to, but it, it didn't help that much, so I quit doing it. So you, you just learned how to balance better. Yeah, I just, like I said, I tip over a lot. I fall all the time when I'm out there umpiring. The kids, the, the players give me a hard time about it. Yeah, well, I fall. Take off your, take off your shoe and sock and show them. Look, gross <laughs> for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't laugh at me. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I tell you, I wish they did the whole, you know, check your toes when you're doing new new shoes, because that'd be funny to go see. <laughs> yeah. Remember Alex when they used to sit you down and put you yeah. on the side thing and they put the yep. shoe. Yeah, on. the X-ray machine. Oh yeah. no, Long I, time ago. I, I they remember. Made, yeah, they, yeah. they put, put, your, put the foot on and let me find out where your toe is. Let me Bomber see how. Yeah. Uh, they, <laughs> they had right your toe and there's nothing there. No, but they had uh, they had literally an X-ray machine. I remember. Yeah, the foot You would then look through it and it was green. Yeah. Your feet feet were yeah. green, and it was a um, uh, and they looked at your toes. You, you know, gave you a good radiation blast. Through. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I wonder how dangerous those things were. Very. Yeah, they, they really blasted. They, yeah, they, they had you know pieces of tin or lead in the inside and shoddy yeah. put together. The salesmen, a lot of salesmen yeah, died. A lot of radiation. salesmen got sick from it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yes, radiation scatter. That's right. But I'm sure, I mean, like, I didn't get cancer from it. No, no. You, yeah, well, you didn't get to shoot that off. Hmm? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going once a year or something. The salesman's yeah. there every day. Right. Did, they, did the guys have to, like, spread their legs and sort of get close to it to do that? You know what I noticed, though, with my dentist lately? But then they probably had no kids, too. What, uh -huh. My dentist lately, he doesn't leave the room. He just goes, click it. <laughs> I don't care. Wow. Apparently, maybe there just isn't as much they, radiation. They, they have lower and lower radiation now from, from the x-ray machines. Yeah, Much I, lower than like 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah. 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 Uh, because he, he, he didn't seem to care. He said she left the room. His assistant left the room, but he stood there. He said, let me just get this in the right place. Because, you know, he had to get the... Yeah. By the way, folks. Yeah, you got to hold it, Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can now vote for Trump. I had to get, had to get the in the right place. <laughs> hmm? So he gets up on the chair with you. The dentist gets up on the chair with you so he can put the film in there and then hits the button while he's holding the film in there. Yeah, well, no, he just he wanted to hold it in there so it would be just right. And they, t they shot it. And then they, you know, what I like about it, the old days, you know, they would take an x-ray and then they would go into another room, a dark room, and yeah. they would develop yeah. it. And then they'd let it dry and then come back. This all took about 15 minutes. Yeah. Now it just comes right up Instantly. on the screen. Instantly. Yeah, yeah. It's on they take the right. picture and it's right there in front of you. And yeah, so, before the doctor even comes back into the room. Yeah. yeah. So you, you watch it appear as it takes the picture. And as I said, yeah. dentistry is so improved that, uh, you know, I'm getting a, a, a implant. I have an implant put in there. And the thing was, the implant was put in the same time they pulled the tooth. They never used to do that. No. They used to wait like three months for it to heal. and No, but now they put it in there. Apparently somebody said, you know, one day we accidentally put it in there and it was fine. <laughs> you know, and then I'm only waiting two months till they do the rest of it. So in two months, I, I go from having tooth pulled to having full, uh, you know, implant. So um, that's, that, it, it, dental business has changed a great deal, you know. Now if the prices right. could only go down. Yeah. I mean, this thing is, I mean, I, I do have insurance, but this thing is costing me, you know, I mean, it, it, $5,000, you know, no. for an implant. Really? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, implants are expensive. But what do you want? You want this? Or do you want it? Uh, you want an implant? I don't know. Nobody sees it though. It's well, I wanted camera. an implant here because I was afraid people would see it. If it were in the, way in the back, they pulled a tooth yeah. way in the back. I'd mm. go forget it. At my age, I don't care. You know. Yeah, you need to live smile. eleven years to, to to make it pay off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even know if it's going to last long enough for me to have it pay itself off. But uh, well, at know. least you get to your food. That's a good deal. But, well, I yeah yeah. But I can chew, okay? I, I, I don't think it hasn't impeded me eating dinner at all, you know? So, 
and I chew oh, down. No, no applesauce. That's okay. No applesauce. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So what else is happening in the news? I haven't seen anything that uh, uh, horrible going on. Um, although, you know, we still got this whole thing going on in, in uh, the, the exactly. Mideast, yeah. which yeah. is ghastly. It's just I watch it and I just, I just get depressed. I can't watch it. I think they ought to start doubling up on the bombing. Tonight they had... T I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Tonight they had, a, they, had, they had a father on TV holding his dead child. Yeah. You know? And I'm going, what kind of world do we live in? Why is this acceptable on any level? You know? And here's the thing that I don't understand. There's this woman, Talib, I think, who is a is she a senator or is she a congresswoman? She's a congresswoman. Congress 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 she got censored now. Yeah. She got censored because yeah. she was standing censured, up for the yeah. yeah, she was censured because she stood up for the Palestinians. She yeah. happens to be Palestinian. Why yeah. shouldn't she? But yet we still have Santos. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know, they gave her a hard time, but yet we still have Santos. No, but I mean, why Why are they giving her a bad time for standing up for her people? She wasn't standing up for Hamas. No. She was standing up for her people, and they want to censure her. I mean, I think that's wrong. You root for the home team, don't you? You know? And uh, it, and, and uh, oh, and then, it, what was I saw today? What's her name? The woman who plays Wonder Woman. Um Huh? Oh, no, Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot, who is Israeli. Uh, yeah. She did something pro-Israeli. And now people want to censor her. Oh, oh, come on. You know, if I, I don't you know, I don't agree with her, but she is an Israeli. It is the place she was born. It was her home. And why well, shouldn't she, she in the Israeli army? Yeah. Why shouldn't she feel this way? You know, so I mean, what? what, what oh, I just don't understand what they did with uh, that uh, that uh, Palestinian congressman. You know, it just bothers me because people should be allowed to have opinions. Is your hand yeah. is your hand up, uh, J uh, Jim? Or no, that's all right. No, oh. that's all right. I just uh, stopped the video. I, I'll monitor you guys. I got stuff to do. Oh, and okay. I can hear and talk. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, good. Uh, anyway, I have predicted that. What? Brian predicted that. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, I think this thing is getting, I think this whole thing's terrible. It's just, it's just ghastly that, that this is the way we act in this world. This is the way we are, you know? And uh, if some aliens want to come down and kill us all because we're just terrible people, we deserve it, you know? I mean, when I see these things, who cannot watch what's going on in the Middle East and not feel aggrieved for yeah. both sides? Although I think that the Israelis are losing sympathy by continuing the, the carnage in Gaza, okay? Because they've only killed like something like 12 uh, Hamas. Hamas. The other nine, and nine thousand, ten thousand of all. Ten thousand, ten thousand, thirty. Yeah, uh, it was four thousand of which are children. Children, yeah. So you know, how do you get the sympathy of the world for doing that? You know, and I really, you know, th I really think they need to modify their what they're doing and how they. Yahoo and Trump are closely related. They what? Really care for themselves. Trump and, and Netanyahu? Netanyahu, yeah. yeah. And Netanyahu. Well, Netanyahu's a piece, a piece of crap. He's an asshole. He's that, a that's terrible... That's what I'm saying. You know, that's why I'm he, saying they're closely related. You know, he's a guy who would like to be a dictator, okay? Yeah, but yeah. somehow... Both of them. Huh? Just like Trump. Yeah. yeah. Just like Trump. Yeah. And Trump loves him, you know? <laughs> they care for each other, you know? But uh, uh, it's, it's, it just, it's just horrible what's happening over there. And I think that that our country should say, well, we have said something about it, but we should probably put our foot down and say, hey, you want some money? You can get the money, but first, stop killing all these people. You know? You know actually, Netanyahu has, has made it real simple. He said it on the news again today. Release all the hostages and we'll cease fire. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, but wow. that's but that's not going to work when you've already killed ten thousand people in yeah, Gaza. You can't bring those people back, and it, I think I'm with you. I think it's wrong. No, but I'm saying that that is not an incentive for them to give those people up. And Netanyahu said for a while we'll have a, a temporary ceasefire. Okay, he did not well, say we would stop bombing altogether. No, I don't think he even said temporary. I think he said we're not going to stop. Well, until well, we're the, not going to stop until, until they release the hostages. Well, you but know, you want to keep you want to keep bom- bombing were... Gaza to uh, just nothing but dust and pulp. You're not going to see any of those hostages back because you would have killed them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, they had a good start. It's some of the film footage that's coming out from uh, English. Uh, you know, the UK TV is not looking too good. It's looking yeah. like a lot of piles of yeah. concrete and. And death and destruction. It's not looking good. Yeah. Not to the world. The world's watching. Yeah. Well, and Netanyahu's is... never expressed any concern for the hostages. Never expressed any interest in getting the hostages back because they're going to punish the Palestinians for Hamas. The longer this war goes on, the more anti Semitism and the more. Well, problems. that's the other part. You know, I, I told you this. Uh, let me talk to the fellow Jew on the panel, the two Jews. Jeff also. The thing that has always bothered me about Israel has come home to roost, and that is I've always been worried about them calling themselves a Jewish state because if they did something that was terrible, I, we, I as a Jew would get blamed for it. And I don't like that. I don't like that idea that people would say that I conscience that kind of activity. Uh, and uh, I, I, And then if I try to get up and say, well, I'm against what Israel is doing to the Palestinians in Gaza. Suddenly, I'm either a Shanda for the Goyim or I'm a I'm anti-Semitic. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's it's ridiculous. This is horrible. This war. And yes, Hamas started it. Hamas is a terrible organization. If you can wipe them out surgically, fine. But if lacking that, at least try and go into some kind of negotiations, get those people out of there alive, you know? And do you think, what, what's the incentive for, for Hamas to give up the, uh, the, uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, hostages? Is it nothing, nothing, you know? Um, the, the incentive should be that, hey, if you give them up, we're, we'll do something nice back for you, you know? Um, good suggestion. Yeah, I mean, you know, but but that isn't Netanyahu. Netanyahu is a he's a dictator. Yep. You know, he was setting himself up to be a dictator there, but he wasn't getting away with it because the people were starting to complain yep. about his actions. Mm-hmm. Everybody fails to remember how bad Netanyahu was before this whole thing started. Isn't this his third time? Huh? This is his third time being prime minister, isn't it? I don't know if it's his, is it his third time or is it? I guess it maybe is. Yeah, you know. And he wasn't he wasn't any better the other two times uh, either. Well, I mean, he was he the first time he wasn't a wasn't acting like a dictator, but once you got to the third time, he was getting to act like a dictator. He wanted nobody get, likes him. He want yeah, nobody likes him. Most of the but the thing is. This gave him a pass. Once this happened, this was the best thing that happened in Netanyahu. Yep. This gave him a pass. Yeah. Uh, because everybody's going, well, we've got to deal with this first, but you know, we'll deal with him later. Yeah, but the letter, the, the end of it is coming very close for him. Well, I would hope so. Uh, I, obviously, we all agree with that, but I think it's going to, he's got to get, out quickly. Well I, well, I was hoping, I was thinking that this was going to be the end of our uh, our president of our union. And then she got reelected. Mm. You know. Mm. You know. But, uh, and she was really a second-rate television personality, by the way. <laughs> she was the nanny. <laughs> yeah. The only thing good that she ever did was she played uh, an agent or something in... Uh, uh, in uh, Spinal Tap, uh, and she was very funny in that. But you know, I don't know. The world, 
the world. It's just it's just really strange. And and what what what's given, happening with Trump and all of that? I mean, it's, this has never happened in our lifetime. It's never happened in our history. You know, and uh, it's about time we we did something about it. That we, yep. you know. Do you think they're going to get Trump? It's kind of looking like it. Yeah, and it looks like it. Yeah. I don't think he's going to actually go to jail, but I think they're going to definitely hit him with that two hundred and fifty million dollar fine. Is that a lot to him? I think so because he's not he's really a billionaire. Yeah, he spent a lot of money on lawyers lately. Well, yeah, but who's paying for it? Yeah, but he doesn't pay him anyway. No, he doesn't pay. He's been collecting money from his, his mega people to, to pay for the lawyers. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of, this is kind of like Jim Jones. Mm -hmm. Well, without yeah. the Kool-Aid, yeah, well, at least his Kool -Aid. people got Kool-Aid. Yeah, you know. so. <laughs> no, but it, it it's... It's it's horrible. Um, um, he's he's his people are paying his expenses for the legal, and mm -hmm. he's not saying that they aren't. You know, he's he's been very honest about that. You know, but I mean, come on. I mean, do you really? You're 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 a bunch of really poor people missing a tooth, okay, and you don't need to have uh, these people. Um, um, you don't need ha to have to pay for his legal expenses. I thought he was a billionaire. I yeah. thought he could afford to mm -hmm. take care of his legal expenses. Why does he need you to help him? You know, so I, it, it's just, it, we live in such a bizarre world. It just gets worse and worse. So how'd you do? You, what? Did you, uh, hear or listen about her daughter, uh, Today, who's, she had to say, whose daughter? Uh, Trump's daughter. Ivanka. Yeah, Ivanka. she. She. Uh, you know. I didn't watch it. They all take the same tack. Oh well, we didn't know what was going on. Right. right. She didn't Her remember sleep. anything. I don't remember anything. We hire those people. Yeah, we hire those people. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but you know, I mean, you hire those people, but then you sign what they what they write. So mm -hmm. if you sign it, you're responsible for it, pal. Yep. You know? Yep. But then again, to listen to, uh, what's the dumb brother? Eric? Which dumb brother? Eric. Eric, 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 or, Eric. or Donald. <laughs> well, either one. But Eric. <laughs> They're both uh, Eric said that um, that he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, uh, pay attention to any of this stuff. That he was just a construction guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Where's your helmet? Okay, come on, construction guy. <laughs> Trump is a in the cement. Guy too. That's right. He owned construction companies like the mob did. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. Kind of boots yeah. you are. I mean, what do you think? What do you think Trump was? He was a mobster. Yeah, yep. Absolutely. Plain and simple. He was a mobster. And a TV star. Come on. Oh, excuse me. I'm, you're yeah, right. Really. Excuse me. He, West Coast people only know him from this TV show. Premise, pretty, yeah. pretty much. But we yeah. also know him as president. East Coast, East Coast, you guys know him differently than we do. He was that his whole life that way. Well, if, you knew, him, if, you, if you knew him in New York, New Yorkers always felt he was a joke, you know? And but, of course. But anyway, hey, I'm, pl I'm playing the theme. Theme is playing Ooh, uh, already. I just, just remember, if Ivanka wasn't his daughter, he would date her. Yeah. But, yeah. Or rape her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's going to get demonetized. Yes. <laughs> by, Sorry. by the way, just a quick sidebar here. What's happened to his wife? Where is she? She's I like, told you guys that. We talked about this a long time ago. And I said he won't. They won't be together in any pictures anymore. Why yeah. not? He's in the bathroom with the documents. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> and he's jerking. And he's jerking off to them. I might add. Right. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Thank you so much, uh, Alan, for being with me tonight. And same thing with you, uh, uh, Charlie. And of course, Jeff. Always good to have you here, Kevin. And a week. Wonderful <laughs> to have you here, as well as Brian. 
And Jim, if you can hear us, thank you. Yep, I hear you. Okay. See you wow. guys. He was there. <laughs> anyway. Great show. Great every, show. Good reception in the islands. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay? There they Happy go. Happy Veterans Day. That's yeah. our, it is better. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Friday. Thank you. And thank me yeah. for my service. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you so much to our entire group of people on the uh, panel. Uh, next, Jack Bishop with The Intersection. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Have a nice night. <laughs>